Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about Liftware Silverware. Now this is a really interesting product. It was created specifically for individuals with tremors to help them complete self-feeding tasks without the tremors influencing how they're able to bring food to their mouth. So this product has been on the market for a while. I've been able to test it with some different types of clients, and I'm excited to share my thoughts on this thing. So it's a really neat uh, design. It comes with this motor base. Um, this is where all the technology is housed in this little fella here. It's kind of cool because it has a charging base that you simply set it in like that. Um, it does need to be charged about every other day or so depending on how often you're using it. But again, the charging system is fairly easy. This base, which houses the motor, cannot be submerged in water. So for washing, you would simply wipe it down and then it comes standard with this little spoon system here. This is the starter pack. So this is what you get for the $200 starting cost, which is steep for a lot of folks. So I wanna make sure and go over this before you spend the money on the product so you know exactly what you're getting. So you get this particular spoon, which is considered a regular spoon. You get the base, you get the charging unit, and then you get a bag for carrying it with you, which is really nice if you're gonna use it to say go out to eat or go over to a family's house for a holiday meal or something of the sort. So this is all it comes with. For an additional $35, you can also purchase a soup spoon, which is a slightly larger and deeper spoon. You can buy a fork and you can buy a spork, all um, options that can be interchangeable off the end. It goes on very easily, simply press it on and you'll hear it, it kind of made a bit of sound and then this is going to activate. That's how you know that the motor is working. Now, one thing that's a little interesting about this is as you can see, that's a very big handle to manage. Um, and so it takes a little bit of time. And I found that for many of my clients who were trying this, that base is quite bulky and they had to get used to that position in their hand. So you can hold it just like this. The nice thing about these larger handles is they're actually more ergonomic. So they should be easier in the long run to manage, but again, it may take a little bit of time up front. So you can grip it like this. I did have somebody who chose to grip it more like this, kind of more um, like a mouse. You would hold a, a, a mouse for a computer. So more like that, because that's kind of how it feels, kind of feels like a mouse. Or you can hold it like this where it has the nice thumb indent at the bottom. One thing to consider about this and one of the critiques I had is this is extremely smooth. Uh, and if you have grip issues, that might be so smooth that it's difficult to hold on to. So you could add some grippy stuff like this with a little bit of grippy tape to it to just make it a little bit easier to hold on to. You could even use a small amount of Dysum, which is a double-sided silicone product, and kind of set it on the top or the bottom to just give it a little bit more grip. Because again, if you're dealing with somebody who has tremors and in addition to that some hand weakness, that might be a problem. So like I said, you're going to put this on and you can see what this product does is the motor inside of it is going to compensate for the tremors. So as I move my hand up and down, the motor is going to accommodate that and it's going to keep the spoon relatively level as so it does not spill the contents of what you're scooping to your mouth. So again, when you're done with it, you pop the head off. This can be submerged in water. This end can be submerged in water and cleaned. And then this part would just go into the charging base. It does have a little green light when it's charging. This isn't plugged in right now because it couldn't reach my outlet. But generally speaking, you set it into the base, which is a nice option if you have some decreased mobility, decreased uh, coordination. The being able to just set it in the base is nice. Though I did find that it can be a little finicky of making contact with the charging unit. So just be aware that you want to make sure that there's a green light that shows up here. And that means that it is in fact charging. All right, so let's talk a little bit about who would benefit from this particular product. So for $200, you wanna know that this is gonna work for you. And I would say that the folks who are going to benefit the most from this product are people with mild to moderate tremors. Now these can be intentional tremors, tremors that only exist while you're trying to do certain tasks like self-feeding, or they can be something that's a consistent tremor like you might see in certain neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease. This product works really well with individuals who have kind of a consistent mild tremor like this, because as you can see, it's going to accommodate that small movement. It says on the website that if you have an uh, amplitude of 12 hertz, which is hard to measure on somebody, but pretty significantly larger movement in the hand, this is not going to work for you. And in my experience, I did try this with somebody who had very large intentional tremors. This was not a good fit. It simply made things worse. It made it more difficult for them to function. So it's definitely not going to fix all types of tremor situations. So I do have something here so we can kind of show how it looks when it's in action. I'm going to provide kind of just a small tremor like you might see in Parkinson's disease like this. So I can scoop here and you can see 
it's holding things in there because it's acting almost like a shock absorber so I can get it to my mouth. Versus if I had that type of tremor with a standard spoon, I'm gonna bounce those, th that cereal right out. So again, a standard spoon can't accommodate that. That's shock absorbing movement versus the liftware, which can absolutely do that. It also allows for some side to side movement. So it can have some lateral tremors as well. So again, if I have that side to side movement, it's not quite as accommodating for that, but it does work for a little bit of side to side movement. This is not meant to be the product to use if you have um, really severe wrist weakness. There's a different product available on the liftware line that does that, that can accommodate a significant wrist drop. That's going to be a different product. This again is going to be more for uh, the tremors and, and, and things like that. Now, it's, it's definitely an expensive item and it may not work for you right away, but it's important to know that if you're interested in something like this and want to try it before you buy it, you might want to look into finding a local um, uh, place that has an OT or speech therapist that works specifically with Parkinson's disease. They will likely have one of these for demo. Yeah. If you find a facility that has one of these to demo, you could definitely use that to your advantage to make sure that this is going to work for your specific needs versus spending the $200 on it and finding that it doesn't really solve your problems. Another thing that's really important to mention is practice. This isn't something that's going to be a silver bullet. I actually made that mistake early on and thought, well, you get this in, it solves a problem right away, and you move on. It actually takes quite a bit of practice to readjust the way you feed yourself using one of these. So have a little bit of patience and recognize that even though it doesn't feel like a perfect solution right away, with a little bit of time, you may find that this is a good option for you to be able to feed yourself independently and with a lot more dignity so you're not spilling on yourself or having a lot of frustration. Now, that being said, do not worry if this isn't the solution for you. There are options out there, and I want to make sure to mention a few of those here. Some alternatives to using these types of gyroscopic silverware solutions. Now, one of the easiest ones that I have used in the past is simply adding extra grip to your standard silverware. And while this will not add any of the movement shock absorption, I place this on here because sometimes all somebody needs, and I found this with my client who had the very large amplitude intentional tremors, having something to grip that's squishy and soft like this is, I have her apply greater pressure to the spoon and that actually would reduce the amplitude of her tremors. When combined with a wrist weight, so a wrist cuff with a little bit of light weight to it, no more than one to two pounds because you don't wanna make them fatigue too quickly. That combination can be really effective for many. So definitely give that a try if this price point is not an option for you. So just so you know, there is many, many ways to deal with tremors while self-feeding. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.